Any young Republican that's running for office across the country believes that climate change should be a priority. We need more of those candidates to win. Uh, we need more of sort of the next generation of Republicans to win who believe that climate change is a priority. Benji Becker is a 24-year-old conservative from Wisconsin who has the ear of many high-profile Republicans. His goal? Get them to talk about climate change. Hosting conferences, traveling the country, and lobbying from his office near the Hill, hoping that the incoming Congress includes Republicans who support proactive climate policy. Oh, cool. And if that happens, we'll see something that a lot of people don't think is possible, which is that action on climate change under a Republican House. If Republicans do win the House, I think it's very possible for that to happen. Our planet is fast approaching tipping points that will make climate chaos irreversible. We are on a highway to climate hell with our foot still on the accelerator. The midterms happening at the same time as COP27, the largest climate change conference in the world. It brings together world leaders, policymakers, and Free activists. Free this year taking place in Egypt. As conservatives are poised to take control of the House, few have included climate policy in their midterm platforms. But Benji wants to help reverse that trend. Can you tell me what does it mean to have a conservative stance on climate policy? It sounds, when you first hear it, like, hold on, explain that. Conservative stance on climate policy, please explain. We believe in nuclear energy. We believe in uh, American leadership because American economic growth is good for the world and if we can provide low-cost technology to other countries, that's a win. We believe in streamlining regulations that are unnecessary, that put us in a place where we can't help fight climate change. And the goal would be in 2023, 2025, every year there's a new Congress or a new president that you aren't worried about climate inaction because of who's in power. It's just a matter of who's gonna have to work more with the other side. We're not having a one size fits all approach to the environment. And in a time when our generation is so disgruntled, we're going in there and we're saying, no, we have answers. My freshman year of college, I searched conservative environmental organization, nothing. Conservative climate organization, nothing. And that's when I realized I had to do it myself. That organization became the American Conservation Coalition. Its goal, building the conservative environmental movement. We are at the first ACC summit. We have just under 300 attendees, which is absolutely incredible for the first time that this is being held. I'm here because I am a conservative environmentalist, and I think it's really important that we create that movement and make it like a valid movement. I think for a long time, conservatives have not come to the table. It's the people in this room that will change the narrative. There are tens of billions of dollars being spent on the current way of thinking on the environment, and it's not working. Benji's reputation and his enthusiasm attracting several high-profile Republicans, like Texas Representative Dan Crenshaw. I think the Republican Party has come a long way on this, and Benji's that next generation of that. And former Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao, who just happens to be the wife of Kentucky Senator and Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. To conserve is probably the most conservative principle of all. And all Americans, regardless of their backgrounds or political stripes, want clean air, clean water, and a healthy planet for future generations. If Benji seems comfortable around politicians, it's because he is. He's been doing this for more than 10 years. His whole journey started in Wisconsin when he was just 12 years old, volunteering for his political hero, Scott Walker, and soon becoming a real conservative media darling. Benji Backer joins us live now from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Benji, welcome to the program. Even speaking at CPAC at age 16. I'm a product of the Wisconsin public school system, which is one of the best in the country. But it hasn't always been easy for a conservative thinker. So for conservative climate activists, they are the largest youth-led group in the country. They're really focusing on insider tactics, where they work directly to lobby and speak with elected officials to make sure their voices are heard and their perspective is heard. 
how do you reconcile, as an environmentalist, the Republicans' relationship with fossil fuels? That's a big one. Yeah. When you hear drill, baby, drill, what do I, you feel? Both sides have been in bed with fossil fuels for a long time. Republicans maybe a little bit longer now that Democrats have started to cut that off. But we need to work with fossil fuel companies while we still have fossil fuels. But the UN and scientists around the world say, stop. Stop as soon as you can. Well, they say, they say start moving away from them as soon as you can. But we're not moving away from them tomorrow. We're going to need solutions within the fossil fuel industry and outside the fossil fuel industry. There are a number of conservatives who now acknowledge that there is a climate crisis. They acknowledge that humans are causing it but they don't necessarily agree about how to solve that problem. But for Benji, back here in the nature that he loves so much, even a small step is one in the right direction. I want people to always remember that what we're doing is because of this. We're always caught in the middle because we're trying to fight for common sense solutions in the middle, and that ends up creating a lot of enemies and it also goes against the grain of what anyone thinks is possible. And so every day I'm met with tens if not hundreds of no's. But for every yes that comes from that and every meeting that I can get that can move the ball forward, that's what it's all about. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.